This previous week, I was in a very emotional place. A lot of things that were happening. And I know some of you have been here, so I'm going to share this with you. See, when you've given your all, see, when you've tried it all, you feel like you've done everything God has called you to do. You feel like you have done everything God has called you to do. And something doesn't happen the way you anticipate it. Disappointment, discouragement everywhere. And you're just like, God, I just, I, I, you, you, you get to the place where you, you, it's crazy it sounds, but you want to quit something that you've literally sown so many seeds into. What do you do? See, and I, I just, I went to go to God because that's all I had. I was desperate. I was like, God, I, I just don't know what to do. When you're dealing with people, see, when you're dealing with, with environments, when, when you're dealing with organizations, institutions, some of y'all, your churches, some of y'all on your job, some of y'all, your family members, some of y'all, your friends, what do you do? And it's, I'll put it like this so you all can understand. What do you do when you're concerned about the well-being of something or someone and, and all your effort looks like it's in vain? God quickened me. He says, son, do you think you're more concerned about that than I am? Do you? And I, it humbled me. I'm like, God, you're funny. You're right. You're right. He says, son, I'm seated. I'm settled. You're unsettled, not me. See? He says, son, the only day you're allowed to be unsettled or worried is when you see me unsettled. He said, but son, that day will never come. So fear not. Fear not. And I just want to encourage you guys, see? You're concerned about the well-being of someone or something, but you must know God is involved. He is invested and see, I'm going to tell you what he reminded me. He says, son, you're not in control of this, see? But the good news is you don't have to be. You don't have to be. You pray and you do your part and you leave the rest in my hands. God is concerned about the well-being of some of the people you love, some of the family members you have, some of the things you're involved in. He sees your labor. Your labor is not in vain. And do not grow weary in well-doing. 